I don't mean to alarm you. I am doing just fine. I am A-OK. -okay. Everything is fantastic. It's wonderful. It couldn't be better. I am not sick of quarantine at all one bit. No way, Jose. I just realized that I always film pointing at the computer and I don't know why there's really no reason for it. So let's get a different angle. Okay. Ah. Uh. Hi there. I want a Scooby snack. Yeah, I have a Scooby-Doo pillow, okay? I'm 41 years old and I have a Scooby-Doo pillow. Maybe that's why I don't have a girlfriend. I realized that we're about 30 seconds into this video and you're thinking, Ryan, I thought this was your TV pilot. Please stop talking and show us the actual show. I will, I promise, but I have a few things to talk about first. First thing is this really awesome letter I got from a fan named Frankie. Look at this. Look at Frankie made for me. I think it's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. And this is my favorite part right here. This is the little drawing they made. They made. And it says, we are on a bike ride. And mommy is at home making homemade lemonade and cookies. There's Frank, there's MJ, there's John, and that's me, I'm Ryan. And there's mommy there with the limonada. Dear Mr. Van Duzer, when can you come to Albuquerque? Anyways, you're the best. Love, Frank. I gotta tell you, that letter, all these pieces of that letter, all the art, just made me so happy that day. So thank you, Frankie and MJ. I appreciate you writing to me. And uh, it looks like I need to buy some stamps and send you a letter. Before we get started with the main event, I wanna show you a new trick I learned in quarantine. Check it out. Ta-da! And I can change right back too, watch. Boom! <laughs> I can do this all day long. All right, I'm gonna stick with pink. And check this out. I just noticed that this runner on the shirt is a unicorn. All right, are you ready? Because I am finally ready to share with you the Out There TV show. And you'll notice this looks a lot different than my other content on my YouTube channel because it's a full-on TV show. And it took a full-on TV crew to make this show. I worked in conjunction with one of my childhood friends, Ryan, and his production company on the East Coast called Cinematic. We'd been brainstorming this, these ideas for many, many months. We filmed, we edited, we edited 10 more times, we tightened it up, and we're really excited to share it with all of you. This has been a dream of mine ever since I started doing this show on public access back in 2006. Hello and welcome to Out There. And it definitely looks a lot better than that show I made back in 2006. We're really, really proud of it. And it was a team effort to put this thing all together. And the reason why we're releasing it now on YouTube it's because of what's going on in the world. It's like we need some good quality content out there. We want to give you a break from all of the scary news. And I think this might just be the medicine. So please watch this show. Give us your feedback. Comment below. And before we get started, I want to just give a couple shout outs to some of the partners that helped make this possible. Alltel helped us out with the drone, drones and Fnatic helped us out with the boards. So without further ado, here is the show. What's up everybody? It's your friend Ryan Van Duzer and it is adventure time. Tomorrow I leave early in the morning for the Boston area to do some stand-up paddle boarding. You know what that is? You've probably seen people on these big surfboards with paddles cruising through water. So this is where we're gonna be. Here's Boston, and we're gonna do our little paddle. About three miles through this bay and land over here. Now hunt, and it is freezing cold out there right now. It is January, ladies and gentlemen, but that's okay, we're gonna have a really good time. I'm really excited also to make some new friends out there. We're gonna have time to go on a trail run and apparently at the end of this whole thing some dude has rigged a hot tub in the back of his pickup truck and he's gonna be there waiting for us on the beach when we land from our epic adventure. It's gonna be so nice and warm and cozy. I can't wait. Does all this sound fun to you? Let's go do it.
I'm Ryan Van Duzer, and for 20 years, my passion has been to inspire people to get outside. And now I'm bringing as many people as possible along with me. From biking, to running, to rock climbing and more, I'll be on the road and inviting you to meet me along the way and share in the adventure. I still get the same excitement getting on a plane that I did when I first got on a plane when I was like seven. I love this. I love the window seat. I love sitting up here and just daydreaming, looking at the clouds. Oh, it's amazing. Can you believe we can fly at 30,000 feet, get across the country in like four hours? It's nuts. And it still blows my mind. We are here in Boston, Massachusetts. My mission, if I choose to accept it, is stand up paddle boarding in the winter. Paddling this time of year is strictly dependent on mother nature and we're at her mercy. Your first time you could feel like a pro and then you go and give it a shot again in a different spot and it's a little windy and bumpy and you fall off and you get discouraged. A lot of times I do adventures by myself. This time, I'm getting my audience involved, my YouTube audience, you guys out there. So I made a little casting call out to the world saying I'm gonna be in Boston. We got some submissions and we picked a lovely lady named Chan Chanel, I think her name is, I've never met her. And she's gonna come out with me, we're gonna have so much fun, it's gonna be great. I started putting videos on YouTube back when YouTube first started, back in 2006, and really focusing in on building a community. I can put a video up, it goes to the world, people can comment right away. It's a community, and these people, although I haven't met many of them, I consider a lot of them friends because they've been with me on this journey for, for many years, but it was always just my adventure. Hi. But now I get to share it. And it's very simple and it's really quick and easy with social media. I made a little video on Instagram saying, hey, who's gonna be in this area at this time? Come on out, make a short video saying why you wanna join me on an adventure and good chances you're gonna be able to join me. Hey, guess what, my friends? I am coming to the Boston area very soon and I would love for you to come on an adventure with me. So I made that little video and then instantly got a lot of responses. Hi, my name is Kerry, and I saw your invitation to get out there. Hey Ryan, what's happening? Heard you were going to be in Boston. Uh, as you can see, snow's on the ground, the waves are breaking. I really don't want to go kayaking or, or boarding with you out in the middle of winter, but I do have this amazing hot tub that I can come and meet you at the beach with. Winter's a little cold, my friend, but if you want to uh, get down, I'm in. Hi, my name is Chanel. I am a yoga instructor in the Boston area, also a mother of two. I am a huge fan of what you're doing and the idea of getting out there and stepping out of your comfort zone to do more. Um, while I don't know a lot about paddleboarding or even swimming that much, I would love to accompany you on one of your adventures and kind of step out of the norm and conquer some fears. All right, here we go. We are in Chanel's building. I think her yoga studio is down the hall. And I'm really excited because it's not every day I get to meet one of the viewers of my videos. So, I'm nervous and excited to make a new friend. Let's hear, here we go. Hello. I never met you before, but uh, I, I'm a hugger, is that cool? Yes, I'm gonna that's give you a hug. Cool. Ah, oh, it's so great to meet you. Oh my gosh, you're a lot taller than I expected. <laughs> yes, that's what everybody says. <laughs> she is a yoga teacher, so I know she has good balance, which is gonna be great to transfer those skills to the stand-up paddle boarding. You know, she's busy, she's a mother of two, she runs a business. Are you ready? It's time, I think I'm ready. I'm a total, total yoga rookie. I think you're ready. Yeah? I think you're gonna be ready. And we're gonna do downward donkey? Isn't that what it's called? <laughs> He's ready. <laughs> I'm ready, See, he I'm so knows the term. ready. I love your studio, by the way. This is a beautiful studio, check this out. I'm gonna do a little spin, oh. It's called Soul City Yoga. If you're ever in Lynn, Massachusetts. This is my baby, Soul City Yoga and I just am excited to share my passion of yoga with people who may not have access or who may have never tried yoga. And that's what I like about Ryan's videos. Sometimes the things that he does are not the most extreme, but the focus is really just getting people out of their comfort zone and to just get outdoors and be active. What's up, Chanel? Looking good. Yes. This is cool. 
Did you ever think you'd be wearing a uh, wetsuit in your yoga studio? Not ever. This is my buddy, my new buddy, Christos from Sup East Coast Style. He's the one that's gonna be guiding us on this sup tour. The forecast tomorrow is showing some, some pretty strong wind, um, at least consistent 15 mile an hour from what I've been seeing, which is concerning, especially for a beginner. The whole idea, the whole mantra behind get out there is to take people who might not have all the time in the world to connect with nature and grab them out of their lives and take them outside. What's up, Chanel? How you doing? Oh, We're going on a little hike. And we have a new, couple new friends. What's going on, Carrie? Nothing. Nothing. Beautiful so New England. That's true, it is beautiful. <laughs> this is their neck of the woods. They all live here. This is Leah. This is Christos' wife. Christosis. Christos is apostrophe S wife. That's how you say that, right? High five, Carrie! <laughs> high five! We like you hanging! High five! High five! And Christo! Oh. High five! It's time for a headstand competition. We got yoga girls with us. I grew up in North Shore, Boston, always going outside, hiking, and spending time in the ocean. We're out here in the winter, and this is real winter conditions. It makes you tough, and you're super motivated to get outside, because in New England, you never know when it's going to be a nice day. So my personal goals for 2019 are confidence and control, and so this particular experience is taking me a long way toward the confidence part of that because um, a lot of times I shy away from things because I am I am not confident. I'm shy, I'm nervous, I'm worried about what people might think. So I think that this is going to be a great opportunity and I'm very excited to get out there and hopefully not die. <laughs> it is the moment of truth. It is time to go paddle boarding. I'm excited, I'm a little bit nervous. We're heading over to the pier right now. I'm gonna meet everybody and get suited up. The idea uh, is to start from here and paddle. It's probably about two, two and a half miles straight down to Nahant. It's kind of shifted, so now it's a direct headwind if we go in that direction. Uh, and it's pretty strong. Gusts are up, up to around 20 miles an hour right now. Hold it like yep. this while I... I'm too jacked. Yeah. <laughs> Is that... There's a hole here. Is that where my head goes? Ah. Oh, now we're getting close. Hey! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> hey, is, is this backwards, dude? I, the zipper and it feels a little wrong. Yes. So that'll <laughs> zip in the front and then these are like kind of a knee pad. Those so should be on the front too. So that's why it feels extra funny. Yeah. Whoops. It's all good. Um, getting this off is going to suck. <laughs> it just means I need to paddle backwards. I can wear it this way, right? No big deal. Look at you. You look like a million bucks. You look awesome. <laughs> right. Boston looks like Gotham. I know, look how beautiful the city looks. <laughs> oh, look at that. Too, look at that. Does everybody feel like a superhero? Yeah, I, I feel like a million bucks. Are we going to get like a slow-mo of us walking like uh, the Avengers? Yeah. Duh. <laughs> Is this your first time in a winter wetsuit? This is my first time in a wetsuit. Wow. My first, my first time, time ever in my whole life. A lot of times these shows are about watching uh, one person do what most people can't. Thank you mm -hmm. for the extra safety. Mm -hmm. But this situation is all of us um, trying something new together. What's gonna happen? So paddle, it's angled this way so that it gives you a little bit more reach forward into the water, okay? We have a really strong uh, breeze right now. It doesn't feel strong here on land, but once you're out there, you're gonna feel like a sailboat, okay? The wind's uh, picking up a bit. Uh, we might not make it all the way, but I wanna at least get out there get on the water, start heading in that direction, and um, see, where, see where we end up. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, which one's mine? I'll show you guys first. Snowing. It's a Christmas miracle. Perfect timing. 
start to veer off to the right and then vice versa okay so that's why you got to switch sides to keep going in a straight line if we don't make it then what happens is we turn around and we'll head back with a nice downwind breeze and we'll just um give it another shot tomorrow tomorrow's tent uh showing to be a, a less windy type of a day tomorrow in some easier conditions Who thought like stand-up paddle boarding in the winter and snow would be so much fun? I think it's my new favorite hobby. <laughs> it's just like so refreshing and I wasn't cold. The instruction of Leah, learning how to turn and I thought it was wonderful. When you start something new and you feel like helpless and like totally worthless like a beginner, it's frustrating. I fell in the water, I wasn't going anywhere, I was spinning in circles. <laughs> Because it was a straight headwind, we couldn't make it to uh, Nahant, but we were able to get people on the boards, have people get a little situated, comfortable, get a feel for it. Um, it was a little tricky at first. It was tough for sure, but by the end of it, I got the hang of it. We were out there, we saw some snow, it was a beautiful sunset, it was bright orange, and Boston was in the background, so that was really fun for me. So today was tough, but tomorrow morning, I'm gonna wake up, you're gonna come with me. We're gonna go on a trail run. And running for me always gets me full of energy and pumped up, and I'm gonna transfer that energy. We're gonna transfer that energy to a successful paddle tomorrow afternoon. We're gonna make it to Nahant. All right, here we go. Going for a little jog. Yesterday? Really excited about no, this. No, I just can't quite walk. You see that? It's frozen breath, man. It's cold. I think it's not even 20 degrees outside today. How you doing, Chanel? Pretty good. She's doing great. Sweet views already. Oh, I know. It's so beautiful out here. I love these forests. I'm going to introduce you to our new friend, Anna. Hi. This is Anna. She lives here in the Boston area. She's originally from Mexico. Mexico, País yeah. favorito en todo el mundo. Oh, nice. I've quickly figured out that Ana is a little speed demon. Yeah. She's hard to keep up with. <laughs> ¿Cómo estamos? Bien. Excelente. Oh, we, I have Laura. She's a new friend, too. This is Laura. Hi. She's also a Boston person. And um, you've run the Boston Marathon. Have. Doesn't the sun feel good? The sun feels so good. Bon big hill. Come on, Shania, you're doing great. High five. Let's do this. This is beautiful. I know, this is great. We're going on a little adventure. Now we're on the single track. All right, one last hill, everybody. We got this. Yes. Woo. Yep, so the city's over there. Yeah. You can see the, uh, so forest, 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 city skyline, and then there is the ocean, the yeah. Atlantic Ocean. Right I see it, I see a whale. <laughs> <laughs> Moby Dick. We're, we're gonna have a trucked in hot tub at the end of today. I've never yeah. heard of anything like this, but <laughs> hey man, okay. I, I Set like. Set it up on the beach? Uh, somewhat, yeah, he's gonna be near the beach and the, it's gonna be in the back of a pickup truck. Hey, what's up, Craig? Nice to meet you in real life. How's it going? Nice to meet you, my man. How's it going, this is Craig? Chanel. Hey, Chanel. Nice, nice to meet you. you. So you have a, a portable hot tub. How does this work? Yeah, so we've been doing this for a couple years now. This is uh, totally portable for, for, for off the grid uh, in the middle of the woods for what we do with it, yeah. expeditions. And it blows up. It's uh, you know heavy PVC. Cool. This is a in uh, motor or jet drive with a heater built into it. So what time do you think you're going to be coming in? Yeah, we're gonna. The idea is to finish a Long Beach around sunset ish. So Long Beach around four o'clock, <laughs> four thirty. I'm there. Look for the steam. My new 
new best friend in Boston. Yes. Don't be fooled by the blue sky and the sun. Yes. It is not summertime. Not I think it's about 17 degrees. All right. All right, let's hit it. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. I'm going that way to Boston. That's where I'm going. Taking the old waterway to Boston. Gonna have a tea party. Here we go! Ah, what a difference a day makes. Yesterday I was flopping around like a fool. Today I'm still a fool, but I'm not flopping around as much. my 2019 resolution for confidence and trying new things, reaching so far out of the comfort zone. Paddle boarded in 17 degree weather in January. I'm not sure what, what could be worse or what could be scarier. Right now the water is flatter. So much easier, so much better today. I feel like I'm really getting the rhythm finally. You know what? It's really peaceful out here. You can hear the waves just rippling on the board. You look off in the distance, it's a beautiful evening light, the cityscape, the birds are flying overhead. And these are the moments I love about being outside. It's just nature, it's just like I'm here. The best part for me of this whole thing, it was doing a challenge with some new people and overcoming the odds and like really feeling it. You know, Mother Nature was, was pushing us. Good job, Chanel. But guess what, friends? It didn't exactly go as planned. So uh, we were out paddling and everything was absolutely fine. We had one paddler that her uh, extremities got a little bit cold. She was really doing well. It was unfortunate that we weren't able to, to keep going, I can tell you, because we were really cruising for a little bit. And I was able to kind of get into the rhythm of the paddling and how do you turn and how do you maneuver. So uh, being safe is better than being sorry, especially when we have light dropping out on the ocean. So we all grouped up together uh, for safety. We jumped in the cars and we drove toward the beach. Why did we do that? Well, because we had the guy with the hot tub there waiting for us. Da -da. Go on surfing, surfing USA. just let him hang there without us. So we got to the beach, we jumped in the water, we paddled a little bit more. We became a little family, kind of a, a unit together. We have this shared experience now forever um, of, of doing coming together to do this thing. And so I, I will miss that. Um, the wonder of that weekend and just the, the bond we shared. So we didn't make it, but we had a great time learning how to paddleboard and hanging out for the entire week leading up to this challenge. And I hope that this inspires all of you out there watching this to, to go do something that you never thought you'd be able to do. Something that you thought was impossible. and. You may or may not accomplish it, but that's okay. It's all about the process, it's about having fun, it's about making friends, it's about breathing fresh air, it's about all that stuff. It's about just getting out there. Oh yeah! What's up, Craig? You want to pull? Our hands are a little cold. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, that's good. Anybody else want to jump in? We got room for at least 10 more. Come on, Ken, get in. Come on. 